And so when you worship, you want to do it in spirit and in truth. And he was a cheerful giver. And he doesn't just lean monetarily. Everything you do, you will with gladness. Hallelujah. And so as you get saying, give what God put on your heart. What you know you can give, give it with joy. If you don't want to give it, then don't do it. Give it, give what you want to give with gladness. Hallelujah. Why? Because he loves us so. Why? Because he loves us to a whole other level. More than he 
you love God, you stop, you just always see it. He changes everything. Every work, every doubt, every place of inadequacy, every place you stand, every place you sit, in your heart, in your mind. Jesus changes everything. Not something, but everything. Not some things, but everything. If you obey him, he will change you. Because why? He makes everything out for our favor. He works everything out for our favor. Get that in your spirit. When you leave this building today, when you leave that parking lot, when you get home, when your phone rings, when you ain't got the money for the bills, know that Jesus changed everything. And it's about your faith. Where's your faith today? Feed your faith. Start your doubts. Without faith, words are done. So don't allow yourself to be hopelessness. If you're gonna hope in anything, hope in the one that you might have got, the one who stands above it all, the one who formed you in the womb. Glory to God. I just had to get that out of my spirit because I feel like I saw it in my heart and I got out of my heart and I got sick in my belly, so I just want to share that with y'all. It's out of my character, but as we grow in Christ, He also evolves us to. New levels, new levels and new directions. Yeah. Amen. May God lead you guys. I pray for strength and prosper over your lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we just send up a shout of praise? Hallelujah. That God sends his messages the way that he sees fit. Hallelujah. That he uses us the way that he sees fit. And his time is perfect. That God's time is perfect. Hallelujah. It's a sweet spirit in the house today. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm expecting something today. Hallelujah. I want to honor our pastors. They're not here today. Hallelujah. They're taking rest. Amen. They're taking rest. So can we honor them even though they're not here? Can we bless God for the angels and the shepherds of this house? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Nick and Pastor Carol, we love you. We know you're tuning in online. We appreciate you. Can we stand to our feet? Hallelujah. I'm going to bring up our executive pastor. Amen. I'm going to bring up the executive pastor who looks over this house as well. We appreciate her for her vision, for her guidance. Hallelujah. Over this ministry. It is not an easy work, and we know what you do behind the scenes, baby, okay? So can we honor, hallelujah, our executive pastor? Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I was given the task to um, introduce our speaker today, but I said, let me go ahead and delegate. And I'm going to bring up her husband, her honey, so he can do us the favors of telling us who this oh my God is. Amen, amen. First of all, uh, DJ. Stuff. We love each other. 
and we uh, enjoy this life of Christ that we are walking in. So, uh, I, will, I will stop talking and bring up the woman of the hour, Ms. Demetrius McCullough Gibson.
But she didn't know what I would have let it out to. And she began to pray for me and hold my hand and pray for me. And the tears began to fall. And she said, release it. And I began to cry. And I couldn't talk because my throat was on fire. It felt like somebody had, God, imagine just threw it down my throat and my throat was burning so bad that I couldn't even talk. But God said, that's the anointing that I'm gonna, that's in you. I need you to receive it. I need you to receive it on your job. I need to receive it in your family. I need to receive it in your walk. I need you to receive it. You know, God is He's a man of the shut your mouth because He don't care where you are. He doesn't care. He will break you in front of you. He doesn't care who you who you're with, who's by you, who's around you, because He wants to show them that He is real. He is real, and, and I stand today to tell you that he is so real because I couldn't do this without him. I couldn't move the way that I moved without him on my job, in my life, in my marriage, with my daughter. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you for this day. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. I ask that you have your way. I commit my all to you. I give you everything that I have. I ask you to downpour me what you would have me to say. In your way, God, use me for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, God was just pouring down in me about different things. And he asked me the question, have you ever been served an eviction notice? And I didn't get that. Because you know, normally an eviction notice is normally served by terrible tenants. Somebody can't pay the rent to damage the property. You know, created chaos. Well, it's time to serve the enemy his eviction notice today. He stayed in our home and our lives way too long. It's time to stop abusing and misusing each other. It's time to stop speaking lies and death upon one another. And start speaking life and encouragement to each other. The word of God says in Zechariah 8, 16 and 17 it says these are the things that you shall do speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor exalt the judgment of truth and peace in your gates and let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor and love no false odd for all these are things that I hate said the Lord The Lord said he hates when we go against each other. He hates when we talk amongst about each other. He hates when we speak lies towards each other. He hates when we keep up chaos amongst each other. The word said he hates that that's the word of God. 
But we have to put aside all the things that are not of God. We need to show love. But we can't do that if we're bunking with the enemy. If we're hanging out with the enemy. If we're in the enemy camp, we don't know love. We can't show love. So it's time to serve him notice. It's time to walk in God's will and not in the will of the enemy. It's time to stand boldly on the principle of God and tell the enemy he has to go. Stop making the enemy comfortable and make him flee. You know, we make him so comfortable. We make excuses out of for things. We make excuses for ourselves. We make excuses for our family members. It's time he got to go. He's got to go. It's time to evict the enemy from depression, from bitterness, from fear, from anger, from doubt, from jealousy, from shame, from negative attitudes. God says it's time to go. You gotta go. You can't live here anymore. You can't stay here anymore. And I don't know about you guys, but he's not paying no mortgage in my house, so he can't stay in my house. The enemy cannot stay in my house. I'm gonna serve him notice on today. Today is the last day that you will come against my family, that you will come against my husband, that you will come against my daughter, that you will come against my third family. Today you got to go. We serve you notice on today. You know, God's will is not the will of the enemy. There's no room for him and Christ in your life. If you're serving Christ, you, the enemy got to go. But if you keep it, sometimes we don't know what to do when things come against us. But if you call on Jesus, because Jesus changed everything, just call on the name of Jesus. Sometimes people think they got to do this elaborate prayer. You got to go, no, Jesus. Jesus, I rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. You have to flee in the name of Jesus. Jesus will break down everything. The name of Jesus is the only name that you need to know. Every time you have a situation, if there's a problem, Jesus, Jesus, I'm telling you from experience that all you got to do is call on the name of Jesus. He will come through. He will come in like a flood. But today is the last day the enemy will tell lies. He's, we're going to evict him from our thoughts, from our hearts, from our minds. Because guess what? If he can get in our hearts and if he can get in our minds and take over our thoughts and have us to think crazy thoughts and have us to think crazy things and have us to think crazy things about people that you think that said something about you that haven't said anything about you, God said, I will rebuke the enemy. And he will be rebuked for anything that he tries to come into our hearts, our thought pattern, our mind pattern, our spirit. You know, it's time to tell the enemy goodbye. It's time to tell the enemy, bye-bye. Let's go. Let's go. But sometimes, in the addiction of the enemy, Sometimes you got to serve yourself an eviction notice. Because you thinking that it's not you. Well, if you take it to Jesus and you let Jesus work it out, he's going to allow you to look in the mirror and see you. So a lot of times when the enemy comes to us, sometimes we have to stop in our tracks and, and we have to check what's going on around us. And you have to serve yourself an eviction notice. Sometimes the eviction notice is not just for the end of me, it's for the end of me. You have to check self. You're going to have to check self about your behavior. You're going to have to check self about your, your fear. You're going to have to check self about your self-doubt. You're going to have to check self about shame. Because sometimes we put shame on ourselves. Sometimes we put doubt in ourselves. Sometimes we put fear in ourselves. Because of what we're looking at. Because of what we've been through. Because of what we're living in. So we have to go straight to where it is. To Jesus. Because the eviction notice is that God will give you an option to tell you, hey, you got to serve yourself. You got to check yourself. You got to be you gotta be real with yourself. And being real with yourself 
Some people have a hard time doing that, but if you want to be free, if you want to be totally free, you have to evict things out of your life. You have to evict conversations out of your life. You have to evict doubt out of your life. You have to evict conversations out of your life. You have to evict anger out of your life. This is the way that you will be free. This is how God will flow through you and in you. And when the enemy comes, you will be ready. Because that's what? If you get yourself ready when they come, you won't fall. Because he's coming. He's coming. And if he thinks, oh, okay. I, I can't shake her like I used to. Guess what? He's going to try to go to your sister. Guess what? If he can't get her, he's going to try to go to your brother. Guess what? If he can't get him, he's going to try to go to your nephew. Guess what? If he can't get him, he's going to try to go to your cousin. But I rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. Today we're serving him notice. No, no more. Today is good by. It's good by fear. It's good by doubt. It's good by shame. It's good by insecurity. It's good by lack. It's good by no more. But today we're going to say, hello. Hello, love. Hello, I love you and I love me. Hello, peace, because I have the peace of God and I'm going to walk in. Hello, strength, because I need the strength to survive. So I'm telling you today that you have to evict the things out of your life that's not of God. So today, I come to you boldly. I stand to you in front of you today that you have to say to the enemy, goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Right. goodbye on today. Goodbye on today. Yeah. Goodbye on today. Today was your last step. Right. See, you should have took me out yesterday. But today is your last day. See, you should have took me out last week when I had a bad week and I was ready to fight somebody. But hello, hello, love. You gotta walk in it. Because guess what? Today I certainly know that's goodbye. We're not living in fear anymore. We're not living in doubt anymore. We're not living in shame anymore. We're not living in insecurity anymore. But today is hello. Because guess what? You have to speak life into your own self. 
You can't live here anymore. You can't stay here anymore. Today we serve notice on that enemy. Today he's got to go. Today he will flee. Now it's up to you what you're going to do with it. It's up to you if you're going to make a decision today to serve the enemy eviction notice and tell him to buy or you're going to stay in it. You're going to stay in it. You're going to stay in it and act like everything is okay. You're going to stay in it and act like you're all right. You can dress it up. We can dress it up. Yeah, we can dress it up. We can look cute. We can have our hair done. We can get our makeup ready. But guess what? You still got things going on with you. And if you don't realize that you need to serve in the eviction notice in your life for you, and guess what? It might not even be for you. It might be for your son. It might be for your daughter. It might be for your mother. It might be for your sister. It might be for your friend. It might be for a coworker. But guess what? Goodbye. Goodbye. You can't live here no more. You can't live here no more. No, you got to flee. You got to flee. And you remember the song where it says, put the devil under your feet? Some of you need to put the devil under your feet. Because guess what? The devil is the enemy. But some of us, we are our own enemy. So check yourself. Be real with yourself. Sometimes being real with yourself, it hurts. But you have to do it. Because that's where the change is going to come. That's where the eviction is going to come. That's where the love's gonna come. That's where the joy's gonna come. That's where the insecurity's gonna drop. That's where the, the no more the doubt is gonna shake. That's where it's gonna come from, right there in that place. In that place. I serve that enemy notice up to that. No more. No more. No more will we walk in fear. No more will we be shameful for stuff that happened. 20 years ago. Amen. No more. Amen. No more. Amen. No more will we walk in insecurities Amen. thinking that we're not qualified for it. Thinking that we don't deserve stuff. Amen. Thinking that we shouldn't get stuff. I want it all. I want the promotion. Yes. I want the raise. Yes. I want it all. Come on, come on. Yes. I want it all. Yes. And I'm going to get it all. Because it's mine. Yes. And you got to stand in authority with what's yours. Yes. But you have to use your authority towards that enemy. Yes. Because he come roaring. He's looking. He, you know, just when you think you got it together. Just when you think you got it together. Just when you think you got it together. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You don't know. You gonna go and uh, <laughs> you gonna go and think you got everything together? I don't need Jesus. I'm fine. <laughs> Girl, I'm fine. They pray for me. You know, I have some friends. I call them up. They pray for me. Okay. Okay. You need them for yourself. Cause guess what? I'm only gonna pray so much for you. And then I'm gonna tell you, this is me. You gotta pray for yourself. What you doing? Cause you're not gonna drain me praying for you and you don't wanna change. This enemy, ooh, Jesus. It's time to serve and notice. It's time to serve him notice. It's time to serve him notice because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of them trying to attack my family. I'm sick of them trying to talk, uh, attack their thoughts. I'm sick of it. Yeah, I'm sick of it. And today he's going to be served notice. Today he's going to be served notice. You don't live here anymore. Goodbye. Y'all need to tell him goodbye. And I don't mean goodbye. 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 Because it's a voice that 
that you can use when you're rebuking something. There's a voice that you can use when you're evicting something. There's a voice that you use when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. There's a voice that will come up out of you and you don't even know where it's coming from. But guess what you are saying and keep going. Okay. 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 So today, some of y'all in here, oh Jesus, and God just wants you to, everybody please stand. There's some in here you didn't even know that you could serve this enemy in eviction notice but there's a lot of you guys in here that did know but you haven't served it so today Only those that want to serve in the mission of us. Only those that are sick and tired of being sick and tired of being tormented. Only those that are sick and tired of being sick and tired of living in doubt, of living in fear, of living in insecurities, of living in not thinking you are enough. God said you're enough. I want you to come to this altar. I want you to come to this altar. Don't be ashamed. Don't worry about it. We just serve you notice. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. 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 Taylor. The Lord says, He loves you. You know how you always tell me, Mommy, you love your sisters. You love your sisters. That's how God loves you. He loves you. Just like you tell me how I love my sisters. He loves you that way. That way. Insecurity. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, insecurities. Hallelujah. 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 God, I thank you. I thank you for every person at this altar. You know what they need to evict. You know what they need. You know what they need, Jesus. Grant it to them in the name of Jesus. Grant it to them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're serving him an eviction notice today. He will no longer live in your mind. He will no longer live in your thoughts. He will no longer live in your heart. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, no more. Tell him goodbye. 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 No more. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you right now. Hallelujah. He loves you. He's going to strengthen you. The strength that you need. Not that you think you need. He's going to strengthen you. The strength that you need. Not the one you think you need. Not the one you think you need. His strength. His strength. His strength. Hello, strength. Hello, strength. Hello. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Tell your security, goodbye.
Because you are love. Because you're full of love. Hello, love. Yes. God has filled you with love. And you're going to walk in love. And you're going to speak love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello, love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 You already know strength. You already know strength. Goodbye insecurity. Goodbye insecurity. Goodbye insecurity. Hello strength. Hello love. Hello joy. Hello love. Hello. Yes. 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 Wait. Wait. It's your shrimp. 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 He gonna be all right. He gonna be all right. Good by doubt. Good by doubt. Good by doubt. Good by doubt. 